Have you ever found yourself staring at the ceiling, tossing, turning, struggling to quiet your mind? Your body is exhausted, but sleep just feels out of reach. Maybe your thoughts are racing, replaying the day's events, or worrying about tomorrow. If this sounds like you, you are not alone. Between 50 to 70 million Americans experience insomnia at some point in their lives. Not all sleep aids work for everyone. Some people turn to over-the-counter sleep medications or prescription sedatives. Others try relaxation techniques, supplements like melatonin, or even adjusting their nighttime routines. But often, this isn't enough. Many people are looking for natural alternatives like cannabis, also called marijuana or weed, to help support sleep. In fact, according to some research, up to 74% of recreational cannabis users and 80% of medical users say they use it to help with sleep-related issues. I'm Dr. June Chin, Chief Medical Officer of LeafWell and a cannabis specialist. I spent over 20 years studying integrative medicine, working with patients, helping people understand the therapeutic potential of cannabis. In my practice, I see many patients struggling with sleep, including those suffering from chronic pain, autoimmune diseases, even long COVID, where lingering inflammation, pain, and anxiety disrupt their rest. So why and how does cannabis help with these things that commonly disrupt sleep? A lot of it comes down to GABA a naturally occurring brain chemical that tells neurons to slow down and stop firing. GABA helps you relax, calm your muscles, and helps you fall asleep. But here's the problem. Stress, anxiety, chronic sleep deprivation can inhibit GABA, making it harder to shut your brain off at night. That's where cannabis comes in. Cannabis modulates GABA, helping your body return to a more balanced state. Careful cannabis dosing can stop racing thoughts that lead to nighttime anxiety, reduce panic awakenings during the night, treat parainsomnias, sleep disorders like jaw grinding, nightmares, and sleepwalking. Your body actually produces its own cannabis-like molecules called endogenous cannabinoids, which help regulate stress in a way similar to how endorphins relieve pain. When used properly, cannabis products can enhance this process and restore balance. Let's look at how THC and CBD affect this process and influence sleep. CBD and THC don't work the same way. CBD can be sedating or stimulating depending on your dose and your unique endocannabinoid system. Higher doses of CBD, 40 milligrams and plus, can cause drowsiness. Lower doses, less than 40 milligrams, may actually increase alertness, but this varies from person to person. The right dose of CBD can help to reduce the amount of time it takes you to fall asleep and help you get a more restful night's sleep. Now, small amounts of THC have a sedative effect, which helps you decrease the amount of time it takes you to fall asleep. However, THC does block REM sleep, just like alcohol. REM is an important stage of sleep where your brain is active and your eyes move rapidly behind your eyelids. During REM sleep, you're dreaming, you're processing emotions and memories. Despite THC's disruption of REM, there are ways to use cannabis responsibly for sleep. Combining both THC and CBD in the right dosage and ratio can be very useful in helping chronic sleep issues in my clinical experience. Now let's talk about CBN, another cannabinoid with strong sedative effects. CBN forms when THC degrades over time due to light and air exposure. That's why older cannabis flower often has more CBN. CBN is more sedating than CBD and can enhance relaxation. It also has anti-inflammatory and anti-seizure properties. Be careful with too much CBN. If cannabis is poorly stored or dried out, high amounts of CBN may cause paranoia instead of relaxation. Now that we've covered cannabinoids, what about the strains of cannabis? You might have heard that you need an indica strain to sleep, but maybe you've tried one and felt wired all night. That's because indica versus sativa isn't the best way to predict effects. Instead, when you're choosing a cannabis strain or product, 
Look at the terpenes. Terpenes are the natural compounds that give cannabis its smell, and it influences how it affects your body. For better sleep, look for strains that are high in linalool, found in lavender, promotes relaxation. Myrcene, which has sedative effects, also found in hops. You wanna avoid stimulating terpenes like pinene, as the name suggests, it gives pine trees their distinctive smell. Pinene can make you more alert. Limonene is citrusy and uplifting. Great for energy, but not for sleep. If you're in a legal state, check lab tests or ask your dispensary to help you find the right strain with terpenes that help support a restful sleep. A lot of my patients want to know if cannabis is safe for sleep and if it's better than other prescription sleep aids. Some researchers say that marijuana is no better than sleeping pills, that it doesn't provide a good night's sleep and fully robs the body of REM sleep. But here's the thing, prescription sleep aids aren't much better. Medications like Ambien, Lunesta, and others don't actually deliver a restorative sleep. They replace our natural sleep cycles and our dreams. So what you get instead is counterfeit sleep. Studies show that these drugs only increase natural sleep about eight minutes. What they really do is create sleep amnesia so that you've actually forgot that you had a poor night's sleep. Drugs like Xanax, Clonopin, Valium are often prescribed for insomnia, but they're only meant for short-term use, just two to four weeks max. So if you take them longer than that, they can be as addictive as opioids. And getting off them, they could take up to a year to wean off Xanax and Ambien because of the severe withdrawal symptoms and emotional dependence. Cannabis does not carry the same risks, but like any medication, there are things that you can do to make sure you're using it safely and effectively for better rest. If you can't fall asleep because of a racing mind, you may want to try a combination of CBD and THC before bedtime. So if you're using flour, for example, start with a match head size dose. If you're using a vaporizer pen, just take one to two puffs of CBD or a one-to-one -one CBD THC oil. If you prefer tinctures, you wanna try between 20 to 25 milligrams of a 20 to one CBD THC ratio or a one to one CBD THC ratio. THC has a sedative effect as it wears off. So you may wanna time your dose about 60 to 90 minutes before bed. That should keep you asleep for about four to six hours. Low light also enhances CBD's calming effects. So make sure to keep your room dark. Let's say you don't have trouble falling asleep, but you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't drift back off to sleep. This might mean your cannabis dose is wearing off too quickly. In this case, capsules or edibles are your best bet because they take longer to kick in, but also they last longer. You might wanna try adding one milligrams of THC to a CBD capsule three to four hours before bed. So this can actually help keep you asleep longer. If that's not enough, increase the dose slowly by one to two milligrams every few nights until you find what works best. Just be careful not to take too much THC. It can actually make you feel jittery or even groggy the next morning. And if you do wake up in the middle of the night, keep a CBD THC vape pen by your bed. You can take a few small puffs and let yourself drift back to sleep. If you're waking up in the middle of the night due to stress, or it might be from a combination of stress and anxiety, this is a stress response and cannabinoids can help calm the nervous system. Try taking 10, to 40 milligrams of CBD before bed. For some, a combination of CBD with one to three milligrams of THC works even better. Over time, you might notice that your usual dose isn't as effective. That's because you can build a tolerance to cannabinoids if you use them regularly. This means spending more money and perhaps getting diminishing results. But here's the good news you can reset your tolerance. If you find yourself needing higher and higher doses just to fall asleep, take a break, just four to five days. This allows your receptors to reset naturally. During your break from your cannabis, if you still need some natural sleep support, 
try melatonin, valerian root, magnesium taurate. If you do notice changes in your tolerance, it's actually related to THC, not CBD. You don't build a tolerance to CBD in the same way as THC. So even if you're taking a break from cannabis products containing THC, you could still use CBD only products. CBD can improve sleep quality by helping you fall asleep faster, decreasing inflammation in your body, calming your nervous system. It's important to remember that cannabis should only be part of a good sleep routine. If you're using cannabis, you should also make sure to support your sleep in other ways. Start winding down 90 minutes before bed. Your body needs time to shift from go mode to sleep mode. Turn off screens. Blue light blocks melatonin, your sleep hormone. Put your phone on silent or dock it outside your bedroom. Turn your clock away so you're not obsessing about sleep. Let your body know it's time to rest. Now be mindful of what you eat and drink. Caffeine, alcohol, meal timing all affect sleep quality. Stop caffeine intake at least eight hours before bedtime. This would mean having your last coffee or tea by 2 p.m. if you plan to be asleep by 10. Even if you don't feel wired, it can still disrupt sleep. Limit alcohol to one to two drinks max. Too much leads to worse sleep and avoid late night eating. That can better support your circadian rhythm, your body's natural sleep-wake cycle. So if you're snacking at midnight, your body is digesting when it should be resting. Try a weighted blanket. Deep pressure stimulation reduces stress hormones and boosts serotonin, your feel-good hormone. Research shows that weighted blankets lower cortisol levels and can make sleep deeper and more restorative. If you struggle with anxiety or restless sleep, this might be a game changer. Get early morning sunlight. Light exposure regulates your sleep-wake cycle. So you wanna aim for 30 minutes of sunlight within the two hours of waking up. Exposure to morning light boosts melatonin production later at night check your medications and health conditions. Sleep issues might not be your fault. They could be caused by medications or underlying conditions. Check your prescriptions for caffeine or sleep disturbing side effects. If something feels off, speak with your health provider. They can check for hormone imbalances, thyroid issues, blood sugar problems. The best sleep fix might be adjusting something outside of your bedroom routine. All in all, if you're using cannabis for sleep, here are the main points to remember. CBD's effects depend on the dose. Higher doses tend to be sedating, while lower doses might increase alertness. CBN can boost relaxation and complement CBD. THC can help you get to sleep, but it disrupts REM sleep. So it's best to use it in low doses alongside CBD and CBN as needed, and to take breaks from consecutive use. Terpenes in cannabis are a lot more important than labels like indica versus sativa. So make sure that you look for products rich in linalool and myrcene. Finding what works may take some trial and error, but with cannabis and with the right approach, it can be a powerful tool for better sleep. As always, speak to your healthcare team before making any changes to your prescription medications. If you're curious about how cannabis might help you with sleep and your health overall, head over to leafwell.com and explore our science-backed content library to learn more. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let us know if there is another topic that you want us to explore in the future. I'm wishing you the best in health and better sleep.